Hey YouTube, it's Alan here and welcome back to my channel and today I got some not so good news for you. And this news comes in a form of Ezra Miller making the news again. And not for anything good. He ain't making it for his movies. He ain't making it for Fantastic Beasts, which is coming out this month. And he hasn't made the news for his new Flash movie, which is coming out later on, I want to say in November, right? But instead, he made the news because he was arrested again. Yep, he was arrested again. And for some reason, I feel like this dude cannot stay out of trouble to save his life. But I do have the article here that I want to read to you to get, give you a little more context of what he got in trouble for, right? So this article was brought to us by Variety. So with that down and out the way, you know, let me get into reading this article. All right, here we go. Um, according to the post by Hawaii County Police Department, officers respond to a report of a disorderly bar patron on Sunday evening at 1130 p.m. Police determined that the agitator has became unruly while other patrons sung karaoke and had begun yelling obscenities. Miller then grabbed the microphone from a 23-year-old woman singing karaoke and, and later lunged at a 32-year-old man playing darts. Now, let that sink in for a minute. Let that sink in. This dude, this dude, once again, is caught up in a form of controversy. That this, this really pisses me off. Like this pisses me off because when you see this dude, he has all these opportunities. He has all these movies coming down the pipeline. He has all these things he has to prepare for. But for some reason, he cannot stay out of trouble. Because if you don't remember, a few years back, he got in trouble. I want to say somewhere in Europe for choke slamming some woman at a freaking bar. And now he's out here in Hawaii doing pretty much the same thing. He's getting drunk, doing disorderly conduct and stuff like that. And because he's rich. He has a bigger magnifying glass on him, right? Now, personally, if I was his agent, if I was, forget the agent, if I was Warner Brothers himself, I may or may not, let me just let me be 100 with you. I wouldn't want to do business with him again. Now, hear me out. This is why. He is signed under contract to me, right? I am Warner Brothers. He is under contract with me to promote the movie and to do good things. Yes, he is a person with free will. He is a person who can make his own decisions. But while he receiving bread from me, I expect him to show up and be on his best behavior for this movie. And to be honest, it's also benefiting him to be good, right? Because most actors like him receive more money on the back end of their movies. So they get their, like, their, their fee up front. Then they get an additional fee when the movie does good. And with him doing things like this, he keeps undercutting his pocket. And most importantly, me as Wonder Brothers pocket. You feel me? Because let's keep it 100%. Both movies that Ezra Miller is currently a part of is doing an uphill battle. Like both of them has an uphill battle, right? Like, for example, The Flash. The Flash keeps being delayed. It's been delayed like 10 times already, right? And with the Snyder Cut fans, which, well, I'm a Snyder Cut fan too, but I'm not really into protesting people movies and things like that. If I like the content, I like the content. Oh, well. But for some people, it's a little more serious where they want to protest his movie because it may erase what's that, what Zack Snyder made. You feel me? And then there's also the female right groups who is sitting there um, trying to protest him for choke slam and said female. You know what I'm saying? So with those two groups already against his movie, he has an uphill battle. And on top of that, he also has another controversy that ties to the Fantastic Beast. And that controversy is sitting because Johnny Depp and the Amber Heard situation. It also has a controversy over the whole um, transphobic, once the transphobic thing with the traitor, um, J.K. Rowling's or whatever. Also have another controversy, which is Ezra Miller's entire life. And then we have another controversy with the recasting Johnny Depp. You know what I'm saying? So both movies he is a part of has an uphill battle. Now, I got to give it to Warner Brothers. 
because Warner Brothers is showing extreme restraints with this actor. Because if they was Disney, Disney would have been cut them off. Disney will cut you off if they even have a slight feeling that you might cause controversy. Shoot, Disney will fire you before they even realize if a controversy took place. You know, you know what I'm saying? But Warner Brothers will work with them. But I got to say, I feel like Warner Brothers as a company can only take so much. You know what I'm saying? You can only compromise so much with their talent. And with this new merger coming on with Discovery Plus, who knows what can happen in the future? So with Ezra Miller doing all these things, I feel like he is shooting himself in the foot, shooting Warner Brothers in the foot, and missing out on a bag of money that he can definitely benefit from. You know what I'm saying? Like we all can benefit from money, and I'm not gonna do anything to tarnish that. <laughs> but anyway, he decided to do what he did. Once again, a controversy. Um, will I watch the movie? Yes, I will watch both movies. I'm gonna watch The Flash. I'm gonna watch Fantastic Beasts. Why? Because I'm into Harry Potter. Thought it was a pretty good story, and I'm into comics, as you can probably tell. You know what I'm saying? So I'm watching both movies. But as for other people, I can understand if they choose not to. So in the comment section down below, let me know what you think about this topic. Let me know if you think Ezra Miller deserved to be in more movies or if they should just cut them loose. You know what I'm saying? Now, in the comment section down below, sound off and let me know what you think will happen to Ezra Miller in the situation. And do the three great things. Like, comment, and subscribe. Peace. This man cannot stay out of trouble to save his life.